Hey, what's up, guys? I got a Chris Reese deck profile for you guys. Um, this is the Rainbow Dragon variant, um, which is a little more slower, so, but it's definitely a lot more fun to play, so, um, yeah. So, three Sapphire Pegasus. Uh, I do plan on getting the ultimate of this, uh, very, very soon. Um, I just gotta save up money, and I plan on getting the ultimate of this. Topaz, and then the Ancient City, which all the other off Toronto is like $143, plus shipping and on all that, so, um, it's only a little bit pricey, but, I mean, to me, the Ultimate is worth it because it, I love the Ultimate, and it, it just looks so, so good, so, anyway, with Sapphire Pegasus, once she's no Stone, Flip Stone, or Special Stone, then you can add a Chris Reese to your spell and chop card zone. So, down here. And then Topaz Tiger. Uh, he's basically your beat stick for the deck um, during the battle phase anyway. So, yeah. And see, there's the rare from the Force of the Breaker. And this is what I wish Konami would do in the future for uh, sets is make the rare and then also make an ultimate of it. I like that idea quite a bit, um, and that's why I love the ultimate rares of the Crystal Weiss, uh that were from the Force of Breaker, so. And then, three, Ruby Carbuncle, um, this is basically the card that's, that's supposed to send out your whole Crystal Weiss from your spells and traps, um, so yeah, it's really, really quite amazing. And then Amber Mammoth, uh, he helps protect your Crystal Weiss from... Uh, effects, um, anything that targets your crystal use, uh, this guy steps in and takes it instead, so it's really quite amazing. And then Cobalt Eagle, um, his effect is decent, it's not the greatest, but it's still pretty good. And then the Amethyst Cat, um, a uh, good card for attacking directly, it's basically like a Watt card, so, um, it's pretty good. And then Emerald Tortoise, um, basically once you return, you can change the, change one of your punch, of your monsters that attacked to defense, so, let's say you attack directly with this guy, and you want to change him to defense, and you just don't want to take bow damage, activate his effect, change him to defense, and then there you go, you want to take your bow, bow damage, so it's pretty good. And then, of course, Rainbow Dragon. Like I said, this variant isn't all that good, but definitely is a lot of fun. That's one thing for sure. It's a, it's a lot of fun to play, so. And then, Ant Eater in Ant. Uh, very, very good card. Um, basically, it helps get rid of your back row, or your punch back row, and just baits it out, so. Um, yeah. And two effect bear, um, really, really, really good card, uh, hand trap, so, um, yeah. And then one honest, uh, this is in here for, um, Rainbow Dragon, it's a light, so, it's a lot of fun to play, so, yeah. And then the end of the newest, I know this cancels out, it's on the target, uh, like, uh, Crystal Blessing and some other stuff, but this card's really good because it locks down Burning Abyss, um, Light Swarms, stuff like that, so this this card also comes in handy and against the different decks as well, so. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all the monsters. Now for the foes. Three Ancient City Rainbow Rune. Uh, amazing card. Like I said, the rare. And then they also made the ultimate of this, so I plan on getting that very, very soon, or somewhat soon. Um, but maybe in the future when I do another update, update for this deck, um, I had the ultimate, the ultimates by then. So uh, look forward to that <laughs> in the future. Um, and then three Crystal Promise. I do plan on getting the. Of this too, 
at some point. I don't know when. I just plan on getting the ultimates first and then worry about the rest of it uh, later. Um, and then three crystal blessing, very very good. Helps put uh, crystal beast back in your spells and traps, and then you make your um, ancient city alive. So, and then two crystal beacon. Uh, I like two in this at this number of crystal beast, but um, with the small amount that I'm thinking about running in my update, then or in the narrow build. Um, then I only just like just the one because I don't want it to be a dead draw or brick it. Um, same to this. I like one or I like two in here, but in my other build I uh, like just like one because it's still a useful card at one. So, and then crystal abundance that'll be probably in my other build that I'll probably make probably doing. But I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, still a very, very good card, and still also kind of scary, so. And then 3 MST, uh, still very, very good. 2 Lance, also good. And, one, and then 1 Raigeki, also very, very good. And then for the Traps, 1 Crystal Raigeki, a uh, very, very fun card to use. Um, so, yeah. Balmless, Define Wrath. Hollowed uh, Life Barrier, uh, very very good. Is you pitch a uh, Crystal Beast and then use Crystal Blessing to retrieve it, so it's pretty good. And then Black Horn. So um, yeah, so that's basically it for the Crystal Beast deck profile. Like I said, I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this because I'm running the um, the Rainbow Dragon here, but I'm. The Rainbow Dragon Green, it's it's more fun than competitive, but um, in the next build I'll be showing you guys, I'll make it competitive, and uh, hopefully I'll have the old cheese by then, and uh, everything else, so, um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I will catch you later, alright, guys.